evening YouTube. <clears throat> I have a feeling that I'm probably never going to do very many box openings. I'm always too eager to get the box open before the cam before I have the camera rolling. I'll probably do unveilings though whenever I get new tobacco or things like that. messed up my breathing cadence and got hot ash all over my hand. Oh well, let's try again. <coughs> there we go again. I ran, I ran myself dangerously low on <coughs> pipe cleaners. Kind of glad I got my. Kind of glad I got this package today. Because my pipes have been, been getting kind of scuzzy. One of these days I will keep this lit. <clears throat> and on the note of pipe unveilings, let's start with the unimportant, well, it's important, it's pipe cleaners. BJ Long, 100, 100 pipe cleaners. Then here I have a couple of ounces of Engine 99, probably pointless. That text ain't, that writing ain't showing up on my camera. But that's a couple of ounces of Engine 99, which I had, I had a bit of earlier. It tastes, tastes pretty good. I give it a a few more bowls to see how I like it. And on, on that note, time for the housekeeping. My Barracini Briar. With my second bowl uh, tonight of uh, The Samuel <coughs> Samuel Gay with uh, Black XX. I rub this I rub this bowl out a little bit better and let it dry out for an hour or two. It smokes a hell of a lot better, a lot tastier too. I think the nicotine is kind of creeping up on me. But. So far, I like it. It's got kind of a. It's not a. <clears throat> it's not as full of flavor as like the Engine 99s and stuff. But. It has a kind of 
sweet sort of flavor, kind of like a toasted caramel or some sort of thing like that. It's it's sweet but not <clears throat> overbearing like a lot of hmm, like a lot of aromatics and stuff could be are with like the heavy casings and that sort of stuff. Definitely a lot. Definitely, definitely a lot smoother and better smoke with having it dried out and rubbed out a bit better. My mic working properly? Uh, yeah, I'm just talking softly tonight. Bear with me. I'm still having a bear of a time keeping this stuff lit. <clears throat> this is my first experience with rope tobaccos. <laughs> my wife was kind of disgusted when I showed her what it looked like. I assured her that it tasted a lot better than it looks. Kind of looks like a kind of looks like a cat turd. Get this out. Get a little bit of this out for you. Actually, here we go. So, little J shaped cat turd. Woohoo! Doesn't smell like. Doesn't smell or taste like the other tobaccos I have that my wife calls cat shit tobacco. It also made me realize how lax I've been on sharpening my knives. Because my usually razor sharp knife, I was having a hell of a time cutting that. So, that'll probably be a topic of another video I'll probably do either late tomorrow night, some sort. Um, J, uh, J, um, Dig, S, A, Dig, S, H, X? I, I can't remember if the, if I got the letters in the right order. I posted a video challenging us in the pipe smoking community to share our talents and give little pointers on some things and I like to say I'm pretty decent at sharpening knives. I'm not I'm far from the best but I keep all the knives around here razor sharp. Ooh that's creeping up on me. tobacco. That stuff definitely demands respect. But yeah, I'm the, in the, in going with that, I'm probably going to do a little bit on knife sharpening, show you all what I do with that. If I'm, <clears throat> If I'm feeling up to it and my computer's cooperating, I might, I might even do a little bit on some of the stuff that I do with my music. Might go in with a little, might do a little bit on sound design or something like that. Two 
two. Anywho, <clears throat> anywho, um, I'm gonna go back to, I'm gonna go back to getting a nicotine rush and maybe working on music, depends. I've been up since two in the morning. Woke up and couldn't get back to sleep. I almost got back to sleep and then a hailstorm came through. I was just gonna sleep through it, then I saw the, I saw the time on the clock, and I was like, 